Hey folks, how you doing? Beautiful Monday morning. Welcome to Well. I just wanted to take a few minutes just to kind of you know, point out some interesting things that um, that we all go through and that, you know, it's, it's one thing that, um, that I've noticed over the past several years and a lot of folks struggle with this. Matter of fact, most folks probably struggle with this and that's consistency, you know. We, the consistency uh, factor is very, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a big struggle for a lot of folks. And I, and I, I see it to be true. You know, you know it's, it's very interesting. It's not the things you don't think about, you know. It goes in the pile of things you just don't think about a lot. But, you know, it's very, it's very important to each and every one of us. But we're in a time now, you know, you know, talk to me and say, well, you know, you know, consistency is as important now as it's ever been, but it's harder than ever to be consistent during so much change, <laughs> during so much change. And, and I, I get that as much as, as much as the next person. I really do. Um, it's, it's very, it's very complicated as it is. It's, it's still as important as ever. You know, let's talk about consistency. You know, what we can do with consistency is first we have to become aware of are we consistent and what, what 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 sort of things are we consistent with and in in our daily lives and and you know does it fit with our goals you know are our goals consistent or are we just kind of going through the you know normal cycles of of every day but this consistency thing you know that we we all struggle with but you know let's use it in the context of business now in business you know your consistency is is tied to your you know credibility it's tied to your you know believability it's tied to your um you know to your profitability and so when it comes to consistency you know it's 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 the top it's probably if not the top the number one um thing that you must maintain in business if it's pretty close to it and you know the thing about you know being consistent you know i thank god you know for you know the different things that I go through, even though there's struggles and so forth. But you know, it gives me a view <laughs> that um, most people, I guess, just don't get. But it, it it reinforces my consistency, and it shows it shows you know so I can I can track it, so I can test it, so I can you know measure it. And so that's you know that's what consistency gives you something that you can track and measure and grow on and build on. You know, failures, successes, you know, so on and so forth. But I, and I, but I bring up consistency because because most people, well, a lot of people, I'm not going to say most people, but a lot of people struggle with, you know, being consistently productive. You know, people are being consistent, but not consistently productive, you know. <laughs> but, you know, we, but that's something that we all have to say, okay, well, you know, you know, look at myself. You know, everybody wants to gauge and have opinions on everybody else, but they don't want to you know, gauge and track themselves and they don't want to, you know, hold themselves accountable to being consistent. And this is a, this is a, a massive issue. And what it does is it doesn't just cause issues for that person. It causes issues for those around them, for those around us. And, and, and it causes issues for those that come in contact with, with, with those individuals themselves and, and so on and so forth. You know, it's a cascading effect that occurs, you know, when we're not consistent, but you know, in order to become consistent, it takes, you know, individual tools, processes, you know, it has to be, you know, there has to be thought in this part, you know, no matter, you know, who the individual is, there has to be thought in the part of, you know, what kind of processes do I have and do I need in order to be as consistent as, as, as is necessary, you know, for me and, and, you know, in my life and my surrounding and the lives of those around me, you know, what's, what's, you know, what's required for me to do the thing that I'm doing. So, you know, we ask ourselves those questions, you know, for me, you know, it's different than, than it is for you. And, you know, and for you, it's different than it is for me. And so I'd say, well, you know, okay, James, um, you know, I have to, I have to review and look at, you know, what it is I need to get done and I need to get, you know, a lot of this done, I need to get a lot of that done, but the foundation is not there. So, in order for me to 
build on this thing, I have to build a foundation first. Okay, how do I build a foundation? <laughs> you know, so forth and so on. And this builds, you know, the building of consistency, but it has to have a foundation. You know, it has to, it has to, you know, have a, have a platform in order to grow on. So, you know, I, I thank God, you know, for the past, you know, several years, I've been building a platform, you know, a foundation in order to start building, you know, the rest of, you know, everything that I'm working on, you know, my businesses and so forth, you know, you know, but it's consistent. It's consistent, you know, for, you know, one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, you know, it's consistent and it's a process. And I, you know, I, knowing what I know now, I know that I could not even be making this video today. I know that I couldn't make it with such sincerity and with such a, you know, a matter of fact viewpoint as I do and as I have, if I had not been consistent in the things that I do, if I, you know, I was having a conversation earlier and talking about, you know, you know, how glad I am to have some of the experiences that I've had over the past few years, because it's shown me, it's shown me a lot of what I personally need in order to grow forward, you know, um, and, you know, in my endeavors and so forth. So had those things, had I not been consistent in those, in those particular, you know, um, you know, climates and so forth, had I not gone those particular routes and developed and cultivated, you know, events and, you know, relationships and, you know, just different, you know, you know, you know, things that you take for granted. Had I not done these things, you know, a lot of what I'm doing now and, and growing forward wouldn't be able to occur. You know, it just wouldn't be able to occur. And, you know, plus, you know, we've all gone through, you know, none of us have been immune to the times that we've gone through for the past several years. You know, we've we've all been, you know, you know, part of this this global <laughs> um, um, restructuring. Let's call it that. Yeah. Global restructuring. That's that's forced us all to 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 move differently, to think differently. But here's the thing. If if if, you know, you didn't have a platform of consistency going into it, you know, you're struggling through it and you're struggling coming you know, you're going to struggle coming out of it if you can come out of it at all because the consistency wasn't there. You know, there, there was some consistency, but it was consistency that was not productive for you. And and in order to, you know, have productive consistency, you know, we have to really take a hard stand and depend upon how old you are. I mean, if you're 21, you know, it's not going to it's not going to be the same as if you're 41. You know, it's just not, you know, <laughs> if you're 41, it's not going to be the same as if you're, as if you're 61. You know, it's, it's, it's just not, but you know, we all have to look at, you know, okay, where we are, you know, take, you know, take into account, you know, our current situations. You know, one thing I've noticed about people, you know, everybody's been you know looking to other people to, to, to get, you know, tactics and, and, and get clues to, you know, sure. It's, it's great to, it's great to be able to learn and seek others, you know, um, uh, mentoring and so forth. But the reality of it is, is you have to, you know, you have to develop these things yourself. You know, you can take, you know, bits and pieces from here and there, but no one else can do it for you but you. Um, it's just, and that's just a reality. You know, developing consistency is something that, that, that happens, you know, it doesn't happen on its own. Like, even like right now, like, you know, one of our cats is coming around me right now. Now this, this little cat, she's, you know, she's been, with us for years now, but here's the thing, it's because she's consistent, because she's had brothers and sisters, and she's even had litters her own, you know, of her own, of cats that are no longer around, it's probably been, we've probably gone through uh, almost 40 cats um, from her, from her, from her, from her siblings, her mother, um, to her own litters that have not been consistent. And that are no longer around. Some of them didn't make it. Some of them, you know, and some of them, you know, moved on down the road or into the woods or, you know, or went, you know, wherever they went to. But her, she's been consistent. She is, she is very consistent. Her name is, you know, we call her, we call her Precious. I'll let you, I'll let you see her. Hey, Precious. Hey, little girl. There she is. She's she pretty consistent. <laughs> she is the, the the portrait of consistency. <laughs> she is the portrait of consistency. I mean, she is she is you know highly highly reliable for 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 the most part. And she's you know she's a 
she's a sweetheart to people. She's not so much as a sweetheart to other cats, probably. But she is a sweetheart to people. And I'll tell you, she, um, she is the portrait of consistency. She really is. I mean, um, you know, you, you, you would, you would be as fortunate to be as consistent as precious. Precious is, she's a very consistent and she's a, you know, she's a sweet cat, but she's a hunter. You know, she a hunt. She keeps, she keeps, she keeps the area very clear of, of rodents. And, and, and here's the thing though. And she is the run of the litter. She was the smallest one of the litter. She's not a big cat, but she's extremely consistent extremely consistent i could i mean i didn't plan on you know having her in this in this video today but she she really helps to drive home the point of of you know what it takes to be consistent because it's not easy you know it's not easy no matter what the temperatures are you know we've had a lot of very extremely cold you know and um blustery um um seasons out here and she's weathered them all i mean she's you know she's a testament to consistency you know, and and all all along, she's maintained her 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 gentleness and so forth. Well, unless unless you're a rodent, or <laughs> but she, you know, but as far as being, she's 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 an awesome cat. And you know, one thing that we've learned from having a, you know barn cats and so forth is you never know how long you're going to have them. I mean, they're they're you know they're they're a cross between you know domesticated and feral. And but you never you never know if they're going to stay around, if they're going to be able to make it, if, if they're you know coyotes going to get them, or if you know if, or they're going to get hit by a car. The roads are not the cat's friends; they really aren't. Um, or if you know other cats are going to chase them off, or, or what have you. You just never know. But the 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 most consistent ones, the reliable ones, the ones who you know are part of a program that they that they. You know, a part of cultivating, you know, they're a part of cultivating the program themselves. And those are the ones that 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 thrive and that that, you know, they stay on task. They don't they don't they don't deviate. They don't deviate a whole lot. And so, you know, let's take a lesson from Precious. And, um, you know, <laughs> hopefully this gives you a little insight to being consistent and, and hopefully your consistency journey is, is, is a profitable and blessed one. So. So, well, I'll talk to you later. God bless you.